Who are the people who influenced me other than Koinsberg, uh, Jeffrey Bauer, and Buckminster Fuller? There was another great influence that dawned on me again in second and third year, was Mies van der Rohe. In those days, he was the icon and the supreme little god of architecture. But, and how I got connected with it was a very strange experience. It happened when I was talking to my history teacher and theory of architecture teacher. Although I wouldn't listen to him, wouldn't listen to him, he said, come home one day. He is a fantastic musician, the Vena player and the Masrayanga. So I used to listen to Jason, there is something, but why don't you listen to this? Then I said, what has history got to do? Then he said, you all know Mies van der Rohe. I said, yeah, we all heard about him. He is the present icon. He said, he started when he really, the grammar of architecture, the language of architecture, for him, started from going through the Greek and the Roman culture of architecture. The very definitive disciplines that the Doric one and the others that followed up to Corinthian and beyond, how they really were very, very clear about the grammar. Here is one thing we must understand. Architecture also has very strong grammar. And each language of architecture has its own grammar, but still, the language has grammar. Many, unfortunately today, many, many people don't have a grammar. They think they can do anything they want. And when you talk anything, it, is, it becomes rubbish. Many people say, oh, you don't understand the language. But all languages have very clear definitions and very clear words, sentences, paragraphs, then chapters, then a story to go. This is what he told me about this and I got through this. 